When I come into a shop like this, I'm usually heading straight over to this section over here. Or over here. And definitely in the food section. Today though, I am somewhere completely different. Okay, okay, I get it. Toiletries aren't the most riveting subject to talk about. Well, that's until, of course, you run out of toilet paper, or your armpits start to smell like a rotten veggie patch, or your breath is that bad it could literally strip paint off a wall. So today, I'd like to be able to give you some sensible and lightweight ideas how you can smell and look the best that you possibly can out while you're in the great outdoors. So if you're ready, let's rip into it. First item up is a small comb, and if you don't have hair, there's one item you've instantly saved weight on. In terms of a toothbrush, I prefer a stronger full-size unit rather than one that's smaller or cut in half to save weight. When it comes to toothpaste, there's a wide range from a full-size tube down to a travel size and then being able to put exactly what you want into smaller containers. And there's even a mini one to two use tube as well. And there's also dry tooth tablets that you chew and then soften further with a wet toothbrush. Obviously make sure though, whatever containers you use, you make sure you test them so fluid won't leak out. Similarly, there's different lengths and sizes of dental floss from a massive 50 meters down to individual strips you can cut off for the exact days that you're away. Remember though that dental floss can also be great to tie things together, so always take more than you need. A quick drying small microfiber cloth or a lighter kitchen cloth is a must for cleaning your face. This can also have a double use to wipe down your wet tent in the morning when it's been raining or there's a dew or there's frost on it. When it's windy or sunny, lip balm or face cream can come in really handy to stop your skin from cracking. In terms of soap for my face and hair, I usually use small cakes that I've salvaged from a hotel I've stayed at previously. Or there's also biodegradable soap leaves that you can get from Sea to Summit. Or simply cut off a section of a large block of soap or grate it off like you would with cheese and then put it into a bag and use it as you need. How much toiletries to take away is really dependent of course on how many days you're going to be away and, and if you're traveling by yourself maybe you don't need to be as fussy or if of course you're traveling with others and you're going to be in a tent together or in a hut together well you do want to make sure that people can see you before they can smell you. I know that longer through hikers are far more concerned about the practicalities of weight and also where they can bathe and so they basically resign themselves to the fact that they are going to have to put up with a lot more smell than they normally would. One of the smelliest and sweatiest areas of course are your armpits and being able to use a travel size spray or roll on deodorant is a good idea together with a merino t-shirt which all helps to keep odour at bay. If lightweight backpacking is something you'd like to learn more about, I'll link in the description the last video I did on exactly that topic. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, you might like to do that as well. The amount of toilet paper you take isn't something you want to get wrong on a trip. For one night, perhaps a whole roll is a bit excessive, whereas a pack of tissues may be the best in terms of weight options. Put the toilet paper in a waterproof bag and store it in your pack so you can easily get it out. Some people like to bury their number twos. If so, something like a small trowel or shovel is a great idea. For washing my entire body, I use a larger microfiber towel. And after a rough and a long day on the track, there's nothing quite like washing off the sweat and changing into clean clothes. And although bathing in a cold mountain fed river sounds very invigorating, and it certainly is, I've done it several times, perhaps something like a pocket shower that you can fill up and lay it in the sun to heat up a bit could be a warmer and more enjoyable way to get yourself cleaner. And for the ladies, what on earth do you know about what ladies need? Well, I'd suggest some hair ties and sanitary products, and perhaps a small hairbrush if you have long hair and you're away for several days at a time. One product that the manager of the store I went into said that's proving very popular among some backpackers is the Shiwi, which allows women to pee without having to take any of their clothes off. It comes in several cool colours, and I think that if you could get used to using it, it could be a real game changer. Other items that people take along include hand sanitizer, baby powder to reduce chafing or freshen up your feet at the end of the day, 
and a more specialized cream if you do have chafing and of course insect repellent and maybe cotton buds I know some people take away wet wipes with them I find them heavy to carry because they're filled with moisture but they're not very environmentally friendly and they simply add to the weight and the waste that I've got to carry for the entire trip so that'll be my ideas. What about your essential toiletries that you take away when you go hiking? Please put your thoughts and your ideas and what you take in the comments. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, you know exactly what to do. And of course, I look forward to seeing you in the next action-packed, informative, and slightly humorous video. So until then, always stay safe, stay strong. See you in the next video, everyone. Bye.